Uh, hi Tony, Coach Tony. Kamusta po that you are part ng big, biggest loser pinairisan? Hi nako sir. Sobrang uh, galak, sobrang honored, sobrang it's so surreal. Hindi pa po tumatatak sa utak ko na kasama na po ako. Talagang isinasabuhay ko talaga ang at pat naging parte ako ng journey and uh, part, of, uh, part of the contestant's journey, life journey. I'm here with uh, the biggest loser of Pinoy edition. I'm more than honored sir. Tapos, uh, kumbaga nung first season ba? parang pinapangarap na you, you want to become Secretly, a coach. Secretly sir, pinapangarap ko yun. Kaya lang, syempre, nandun na yung si Coach Jim, eh, siya yung asawa ko. So syempre, sa culture naman natin, alam mo yung delikadesa, tsaka, di ba, sa politics, yung nepotism. So sabi ko, siguro sa utak ko na lang, ano ko na lang, kinonvince ko sarili ko. Hindi ko siya naging asawa. O oh, audition talaga. <laughs> Nagkataon na eh. Kaya, sabi ko, happy na po ako. Because I was still on the sidelines. I was helping in any which way. Because it helped me to grow as a person if there's anything that actually won't be to be where I'm at right now. Tsaka siguro, ginusto na rin, minarapat na rin ni Lord na lahat po nung training na yun, umabot dito. Ito na yung culminating point. May reason po pala at the perfect time. Alam naman natin na sanay na kayong mag, magbigay ng training sa mga ganyang klase na gusto magpapayat, gusto maging fit. Ano yung pinaka-challenging lang dito na nandito ka in front of television that you train them? Ano yung challenging on your part? Very challenging sir. Talagang iisipin mo yun na nasa camera ka. Ah, no, overwhelm eh. Kaya sabi ko, huwag na magpapahan. Isipin ko na lang na ito yung ginaga ginagawa namin talaga sa mga meta-fit camps namin outside. Yung talagang totoong buhay, what you see is what you get you just have to be as real as possible because sabi ko, ayo ko isipin na TV siya, it's reality TV so whatever it is we're doing outside I just think na friends ko din sila na even if they're contestants I'm just doing what I have to do um, hindi dahil trabaho siya dahil iba yung pag-passion mo, talagang gusto mo makatulong you want to save lives and you want them to also be ambassadors of fitness of, of, of goodwill and in the future paid forward, so sabi ko, what you see what you get kung ano na lang talagang uh, ako sa labas, ganun na rin lang. Sana magustuhan na lang. Alam niyo, sir, pinagtatasal ko, sabi ko, sana yung candidness ko, whatever it is. Kasi mahirap, sir, kung iisipin mo nasa TV ako, kailangan perfect yung ganito, kailangan may ura ko. Iba, kaya tinanong ko yung, yung mga bosses, production, sir, who am I to be here? Sabi ko, just be coach to one yourself. Alam mo na, mas masana ko nung sinabi nila yun dahil sabi ko, magpapakatotoo na lang ako kung ano man ako. And siguro, sir, uh, hindi hindi pa nila malalaman kung di sa show na I used to be 200 pound in 12th grade. Mm. Malaking advantage ba yun? Yes, sir. That you you yes. can, kumbaga, give advice kasi yes. napagdaanan mo. Yes, Nagka, nag, tumatak lalo siya at naging ma, mas makabuluhanan. Because because of that, mas alam ko kung anong pinagdadaanan. Dahil I came from the polar, both ends of the polar spectrum. When I used to be an athlete, although I still try to, to be a regular athlete, now, bigyan mo makika at naging obese ka. So, ang pinagagalingan ng mga to, obesity. So, now, ibalik na rin naman natin from here, kakayanin nila dahil nung mataba ako, kailangan ko rin pumayat eh. Mm -hmm. Yung taon na, yung tatong taon na kung nilagi ko mataba, ang hira. Sir. So, it, it actually won't be to be a better coach because it just opened up not the physical aspect, the mental, psychological, emotional, um, travails and, on, and going on. So, kung ano yung nararamdaman nilang maghihira. And that just made me a more compassionate coach. And, you know, coming from obesity, like our contestants are coming from there, they're gonna be weighing normal, then eventually we want to train them also to be like athletes, not just or ordinary or average person. So, you know, just inspiring them and telling them galing din ako sa pagkamalaki mm -hmm. at nakayanan ko. At bumalik ulit ako, nandito na ulit ako. So, if I'm a living example, but you can. If if Miss Isa was was fat since birth, ako naman if I was skinny, I got fat because of a lifestyle. I, I, I Because I thought it wasn't a lifestyle. I thought after something, pwede ka na mag-relax. Hindi pala, lifestyle pala talaga. Mm -hmm. At nung, nung mana pamalas ko yun sa kanila, that eventually you can lose weight pala and just be be living everything to your full potential. I realized, wow, sabi ko, you just have to inspire them, motivate them.